And here we have the landscape blog landing page. We've got a few things we can update here and we'll spend most of our time in the master CSS color changer document. So we can do this uh, purple line in the background there. That will be in the module settings. Then we've got this line, read more and the hover color, uh, etc. And this also changes color on hover. So let's have a look at the master CSS color changer. Let's start by making updates here. Uh, read more text on image hover. I'm just going to go with a light green again. Um, so there we go. So read more text and then the underline on hover. Let's start with the read more. It's named out over here in the document, la landscape blog landing page. Then animated line on hover. We'll keep that one the same color just to have it uniform. And then day color and font. That would be this one. We uh are going to leave the date the same uh, but the day color we will change let's change that to a bright green copy day color there we go update that and let's keep going further down so month color will leave black uh, meta link color it's this one over here so it's uh purple and then when you hover on it it goes black uh, so let's go with a dark green on that one let's copy that and paste and then the last thing is the underline on hover this one over here so let's update that too with the dark green and then we can copy all of this custom css let's copy that it's loaded onto the page paste save then we can update and then let's reload right so you can see all of that's updated so uh, then we've got the header over here and then the purple background so let's go and have a look at those uh, with this one because it's a page layout you would load it from the top here at the page level add from library and then uh, landscape blog landing page load it there we go update uh, and that's how you would load this one so first let's go and have a look at the background image there this is in the section module uh, you can see we've just made it purple so you can obviously change that to anything else you can remove the image if you want and make it a single color background let's just do light gray and then let's preview that's what that looks like nothing amazing um, let's continue further so the call to action on the top left there uh, blog our news these items you can update if you want there's the gray over there so we still have the purple line that we need to update and for that we need to go elsewhere let's just save and exit over here you want to go to this section the row module settings and then go down to advanced You'll see we've got a CSS class there. There's the background color. Uh, I think we're just going to change it to a bright green or we can do it dark green to keep it uniform. So we just paste that in there. Right, then you can just scroll through, see if there's any other colors that you might want to change. None that I can see. Let's do a quick preview. There we go. So that's updated. So we can save and update. Let's look at the blog modules quickly. Of course, you need images for all of these and posts. Uh, currently, it's just defaulting to all the posts. If you have any specific categories you want to show, you can tick them here. If you add a new category and you want it to display, you have to come here and update that as well. So let's save that. Let's hit the update button and uh, let's do a final review. There we go. Everything's updated. Thanks for watching. Bye.